tell me what you can about the journey of how we landed in the Pac-12. I mean, I tell you, it's been a product of success at this place for a long time, right? If we don't have Jim Sweeney here, if we don't have Pat Hill here, if we don't have Coach Tedford here, if we don't have Kalen DeBoer here, we're not sitting in the Pac-12 because the people that have won here for so long put us to where we are here because I tell you, we're not in the Pac-12 because of our facilities. We're here because of the people that have been here before us and the Amen people to that. that are here today. Um, but I'll tell you, it's it's been a, a long journey. I'm the day that I was announced in June, the athletic director, I did get a call um, from someone that I know very well from um, from the consultant that the Pac-12 hired, and we've known each other for years. And he asked, like, what's the commitment to athletics? What's your budget going to be? Asked all these questions. I'm like, why are you asking these questions? It's like, well, we might be working on a side project. You didn't really really get into it, and so kind of your your yeah. head gets spinning a little bit. And so we made sure that we spent the next you know few weeks really telling our story the passion of the valley you know i really challenge our external staff like we need to really get our story out there on our fan base on the sellouts where we rank in the group of five then you know we have the highest attendance of any group of five program for all sports across the country we need to tell that story and so we did a lot of creative storytelling and it happened fast I mean, we got some you know the the whole process didn't take long once once it really got going but you know, I always knew that we'd have a chance. I'm not out there lobbying. I'm out there just selling, telling the story of the great things that we've accomplished here. And, and it's here. And to be able to partner with, you know, originally it was the three other great brands in the Mountain West Conference. Now it's four with Utah State coming in and pairing them with two autonomous four, historically autonomous four conference members. Like the future's bright. It's, it's right. incredible. It's a great feeling. You know, it's always good to be on the right side of these things and the other side. Right. In a perfect world, who's our Pac-12? Who, who, h- how would you want it to be structured based off of um, level of competition, geographically? How should they base this, you think? Well, I mean, if you look at the numbers on paper right now, we're already the strongest, or the fifth best conference in the country right, right now where it sits at seven members, right? right? And that's based on attendance. That's based on linear television viewership. That's based on social media engagement. That's named on you know about ten or twelve different metrics, and right. we're head and shoulders above the rest. I agree. And that's that's pretty impressive. And so I tell you that because you know for Fresno State we have a long ways to go ourselves. You know we're 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 partnering with some pretty impressive brands right now, and we have we have a long way to go in some areas. And that's not just financially, which is a big part of it, but it's facilities. It's how we support our student athletes here, nutrition-wise, strength and conditioning, and working work in all those areas. But um, we're the ideal situation. I mean, like I said, we're not going for participation trophies. We're going there to win championships, right. and that's going to take a lot of hard work. What I want to remind the, the Red Wave is that we're just starting this journey. We're not sitting there patting ourselves on the backs, you know, saying, hallelujah, we made it to Pac-12. No. This is just starting. I view this as really a, a five-year audition to really build ourselves to state the case that we should be a power five, power five school, right? Right. And so that's a short time frame in college athletics. It's a short time in <clears throat> higher ed where change is hard to implement. And so you're going to see us grinding um, because I've said this from day one. I'm not going to be an athletic director that sits here and releases all these shiny, bright plans, no. fundraise for 5% of it and gets the next train out of the town. We're building this for the long term here to stay. We're going to put us in the best position to succeed. And that's Pac-12 right now. And it's an honor to be invited. But right. that isn't a Garrett Classy. That's not a President Jimenez Sandoval, even though that guy was nails for this whole thing. Like, we have an amazing leadership here, and that, that goes without saying. But this is on the red wave. This is on the coaches. This is on what's happened here historically. That's why we're there. It's right. not for Garrett Classy. I, I, yeah. I know that. No, I and cap off to you for clarifying that, yeah. too, because that's, that's very humble. You mentioned the uh, climb our way towards the Power Five. I know we kind of brushed on this at one point. The twelve-team playoff—it's—it's—it's. It's, it's, there's not five Power Five conferences anymore, right? There's four, mm-hmm. but in the language, it says the top five Correct. conferences get an automatic playoff bid. Sure. Where do you think we'll fall on that in the next few years, or is that something we need Where to? Where were the Pac-12? Yeah, undoubtedly five. Yeah, yeah. Any That's but metric. is that is that once we're in it officially with the logo on our patch, or does that need to be earned? Is there an official, you know? Well, it's no. You're in the pat. You're in the power no, five. It's just the five highest rated conferences win the college football playoff 
selection happens. Right. And we're so, naturally so going to change be that. every year, right? Yeah. So, I mean, not likely, but the Big Ten and SEC, if they have all, you know, they're going to be up there. Well, they, they always are. I use that of kind of being facetious. But at the same time, like, if you look at every metric with the teams that are currently in the Pac 12 for the last, I don't know how many years, right? The winner of that league is getting an invite in the CFP. And that's important. Yeah, absolutely. And that's where we want to stay. And that's where, you know, but you can't be in a top four conference or you can't become a top four conference until you become top five, right? So we're all going to work together, all seven schools. Yeah. We're going to work together and make sure we keep building something strong. And we're going to be innovative.